Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back. We're gonna do a really fun canvas today. This one's a 30 by 40 inch, 76.2 by 101 centimeters. So this is a nice level three gallery wrapped. Beautiful, thick artist block canvas from Michaels. With them when they're on sale, best time to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my colors real quick. We're gonna start with Decor de Americana Decor Satin Enamels in pure white mixed with some artist loft flow acrylic then i have golden's Payne's gray and to that i have added a little bit of iridescent medium so it's a little sparkly this one is liquitex professional series deep turquoise very pretty color this one is liquitex basics thalo green this one is decor de americana decor metallics in 24 karat gold that is the same white as that the satin enamels plus the artist loft this one is golden's jenkins green this one is Prussian Blue from Goldens. This is another cup of the 24 karat gold. Now this one is the DecoArt Metallics in Silver and I have added some Payne's Gray to it. And it's this really cool like pewter sort of periwinkle bluish kind of neat color. Very metallic-y though. Very cool. Okay, let's get started. Um, sun just came out onto my canvas so this will be interesting. Um, I want to use the white in between a lot of the colors. And then uh, we're going to do a straight pour and we'll see what happens. So let's start layering the cup. I'm going to start off with some white. We're going to go right into our Payne's Gray. I'm going to put some of that silvery blue in there. Okay, then we're going to go back to some white again. And some gold. And we're going to get into the turquoise. And I'm going to put a little bit of this thalo green in there. I'm going to go back to gold. And I want to put some Jenkins green in. It's like dark moss. It's such a pretty color. I'm going to add some white. We're going to go back to our Prussian blue, a little bit of gold, Payne's gray, put that silvery blue in again, some more white, turquoise, I'm going to end it with some Prussian blue. Okay, it's a piece of hair. Okay, all right, so we're gonna do a straight pour. <laughs> we're probably gonna do more than one because for a 30 by 40, we need 42.8 ounces of paint, and my cup holds 16, so that's almost three of these. So we're gonna put a little bit of gold right here on this edge. And I'm gonna do a straight pour right into it. I'm gonna put some white on top of that. Hello, kitty kitty. Hi, Ming. Uh -huh. You guys wanna see Ming Ming? This is Ming Ming. She's a pretty girl. She's a little spooked because the gardener was just here. You're okay, honey, don't worry. She's very chatty. She'll talk a lot. <laughs> okay, what are you doing? She's rolling around in the dirt. Okay, let's do our pour. I keep my left hand free so I can catch the drip. I'm going to go from up high. That's really pretty. And I'm going to stay up high because I don't want to have any like real distinct thing happening in the center. That's enough. Okay. That's cool. Okay, I'm going to layer it one more time. Kind of fast. You've seen all my colors. So I'm just going to do it. Okay. okay. Let's pour another one. I'm going to pour this one up here. Staying up high. I don't want to get too close. I want the center to be diffuse and full of cells. 
not necessarily any of those fingerlings or anything like that. All right, that's great. I like that. I like the turquoise in that one. That's very cool. All right, one more. Okay. That's very cool. Um, I'm gonna thin out my gold a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna I thinned out the gold just a tiny bit with some water, and I'm gonna just pour some around all of these. Okay. Now this one is white, artist left white, just mixed with just Floetrol. So I'm gonna go around this with the white. See what we got here. There's an angry squirrel, probably yelling at the cat. Like, what do we not like? I like that corner. I like all of that. I like all of this. I like this mostly. There's a lot of that silvery gray in there. But I think I like those two better than this. I'm not sure if I like that big streak of gold through the middle. It's not bad, and it might be cool later. I think I kind of want to take some of this off though and stretch out that top part. I'm also not crazy about that shape that's in the center of that. It seems like the weight of our paint is mostly over here. See, from looking at it from this angle, that side's really cool. And this is really cool. 
still think I want to take some of that off though. I'm not sure if I like this or not. I really don't. Let me see, where's my cup? I'm just gonna pour some right on top of there. You keep coming around here, you're gonna get paint on you. Zane got green paint on him the other day, he was not happy. Yeah, I like this a lot better now. I'm starting to see all these lines open up and these beautiful areas of like turquoise and the Payne's gray and the Prussian blue mixed. Okay. I think I like that how it is. I think I'm gonna leave that like that. Because there's some interesting things happening over here. And I like this a lot. This is really pretty. I just stepped on my own toe. It's amazing. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go back this way just a touch. To stretch out anything that wants to open up over here. I like that. And I'm going to be a grown-up. And not pour something in the middle of that gold streak. I'm gonna leave it there <laughs> because it's not very thick. Well, there's one part that's killing me is right there. It might go through that. <laughs> I guess I'm not that grown up after all. <laughs> I actually really just want like a line of the Payne's gray through there. I don't want anything crazy. I hear you snickering. Yes, Hush. Okay. Just watch this right here, lovely boy. Prepared to be amazed. See? Just a line of Payne's gray. She's funny. What do you think? You like it? Yeah. Do I like it? That's the real question, isn't it? I do. All right, that's it for that one. I like it. Lots of cool cells starting to come up. Torch it real quick. There you go. Watch some pretty cells pop up. This is cool how there's these like gold cells coming up through that line of turquoise and then over here we've got this like light gray sort of silvery blue color and then a little bit of green and then there's like a darker panes gray and more of that turquoisey and then the dark stripe of panes and then the white I love that that looks cool coming off the edge this is awesome very nebula galaxy like there's some beautiful little cells popping up in that corner uh oh, I just got paint on my nose. Yeah. Okay. More. No? Okay. <laughs> I swear to God, I feel it. Okay. All right. Pretty cells in through here. I like this white part. I love this part now. I like that edge. I love that Payne's gray. There's the coolest cell in there. It's like, looks like an opal. Like a dark, dark tur turquoise opal right there. So pretty. This is beautiful. Right here, how there's this like wave, and that is amazing. Right there, where it's all opened up and stretched out and starting to sell, and it comes here, and it's got this beautiful metallic sheen from that silver mixed with the panes. And there's these beautiful turquoise and dark blue cells coming up with a gold ring around them right through the edge of the panes. It's so pretty. That's cool. I like this. This is gorgeous in here. All right, so. I'm not crazy about this right there. I can't maybe move some of that off. Move some of it.
stuff there. I like it. Very cool. So I hope this one dries neat. I hope you guys liked that one. It was fun. And uh, I will show you when it's dry. Thanks for watching. Okay, so this is about three days later and it is dry now. This is, it looks so cool. It looks like an ocean galaxy. <laughs> I love how this one turned out. These colors are just amazing. That beautiful dark streak and then the gold and the Prussian blue and these cool cells coming up through here. So pretty. I like that. Jenkins green and the turquoise. There's that ring pour that I added. Look at this right here. This is so pretty. The lines and that beautiful separation with that line of gold blinging. The center has some really cool stuff going on. This is beautiful in there. All right, it's a bit windy. The canvas is shaking. <laughs> Over here, look, see there's that same gold line that we had and then I added the line of Payne's Gray that HOA was laughing at me. But look how cool that turned out with a little bit of gold in it and a little bit of white in there. Added so much interest and depth and broke up that intestine looking <laughs> streak. I really like this part right here. There's like this little face. <laughs> But this corner turned out really beautiful too. I love this. These gorgeous gold cells in here. Our little pearls. And all these beautiful lines. Really, really pretty. Almost stormy kind of from the, the silver with the Payne's gray in it. But I really like the, the overall look. It's very relaxing. That gold puts a lot of interest in there though, and the white sort of makes it kind of like an ocean. But the darker, the Prussian blue and that darker Payne's gray, like look over here, this is so pretty. This is the part that I was tripping on before with those turquoise cells coming up through the Payne's gray. Very pretty, very cool. So, oh, the wind is blowing in. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys liked this one. I did. And, uh, you know, straight pours are awesome. Because you get some really, really cool things happening. So, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with us. I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more of my stuff, you can check it out on Facebook, at Mina Villegas Art. You can also check out my Etsy shop, which is also a Mina Villegas Art. There is a link in the description box to PayPal me if you want to be a patron of the arts. Your donations are greatly appreciated. And uh, let's see what else. We will be having a Christmas sale in the Etsy store, so I'll get you, let you guys know when exactly that's going to happen. Probably like right after Christmas. <laughs> I got presents to wrap and food to cook and stockings to stuff, so... I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful Hanukkah season, or holiday season, and happy Hanukkah. Tomorrow is the first night of Hanukkah, too. Or I guess that'll be today for you guys. <laughs> anyway, lots and lots of love from our house to yours. Have a wonderful, wonderful time. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Hmm. So this is how I was looking at it while it was drying. I don't know. Which way do you guys like it better? This way up? Or the other way up. This is kind of cool though. Like, look at this part. Wow. Very pretty. There's that little face. Quack, quack. <laughs> I don't know. Which way do you guys like it better? I guess that was A before and this is B. <laughs> Let me know.